Hello everybody, this is my YouTube channel. I come back with a new uh, video material prepared on business mathematics, particularly focused on linear equation. So, management students, accounting students, economic students, engineering, other social science students can attend this video material. So, linear equations are fundamental in mathematics and have a wide range of application in various fields because of their simplicity and effectiveness in describing the relationship between variables. So, linear equation is versatile. It is widely applicable in engineering. It is widely applicable in business. It is widely applicable in both social and natural sciences. Because of its simplicity, we can easily determine the relationship between or among variables and we can find the solutions of variables involved in the equation. So, there are three parts incorporated in this video material. First, you have to define what linear equation is. Then, you have to understand the characteristics of linear equation. And you have to know how you are going to determine the standard forms of linear equation when two variables and a number of variables involve it. So, what is linear equation first? Linear equations are equations whose terms, the parts separated by plus, minus, and equal signs are constant or a constant times one variable to the first power. So we can write linear equation is using constants or constant times one variable, but the exponent for the variable must be one. In linear equation, the exponent of the variable cannot be negative, it cannot exceed or it cannot be greater than one. Always, it must be 1. So, the exponent in linear equation is implicitly stated. From this definition, we can conclude these characters of linear equations. The first one is, linear equations are first degree equations. Each variable in the equation is raised implicitly to the first power. As I told you, the power or exponent of variables involved in a linear equation must be 1, cannot be negative, cannot be greater than 1. So it is implicitly stated. This is one of the attributes of linear equations. As you can observe, this example 2x plus 3y equals to 10 is linear. Look, 2, 3 are coefficients of the variable x and y respectively. And there are two variables involved here, x and y. So, the exponent for the variable y and x is 1, which is implicitly stated. But, look at this equation x squared plus y plus 3x equals to 16 is not linear. Why? Because the exponent in variable y is different from 1 which is 2. So, to say a given equation is linear, the exponent must be 1. But here, x squared is second power. So this is considered to be nonlinear. The second character or feature of linear equation is linear equations involve a product of a constant term with a single or one variable. The presence of terms involving a product of variables would exclude an equation from being considered linear, which means a product of two or more variables is not allowed in a linear equation. If two variables are multiplied, the equation is considered to be nonlinear. 
So, example 1.2, 2y minus x equals to 4 is linear. Why? Because there is no product of variables here. x over 2 plus 1 over 4, y equals to 4 is linear equation. Why? Because, again, there is no a product of variables here. But 2x plus 3y, I mean, 2x plus 3xy equals to 7 is not linear. Why? Because there is a product of variables multiplied here. Two variables, x and y, are multiplied. So, the multiplication of the variable in an equation makes nonlinear. So, x and y are multiplied, and this equation is considered to be nonlinear. The general form of a linear equation in two variables can be expressed such way. AX plus BY equals to C, where A, B, and C are constants, and both A and B cannot be equal to zero at the same time. Which means, if A and B are equal to zero at the same time, the final result will become zero equals to C, and this is mathematically unsound. So, beside this, we can state Determine the standard forms of linear equations having any variables or a multiples of variables. Variables starting from x1, x2, x3 up to xn can be written in such a way. a1, x1 plus a2, x2 plus a3, x3 plus n up to xn equals to b where a1, a2, x3 up to an are coefficient of variables and b is a constant term but the starting from a1 up to an must be different from zero so this is the standard forms when any variables are involved in linear equations so this form can be converted into a slope intercept form we can rewrite this form into a slope intercept form so, as you become familiarized a lot about slope-intercept form, the standard forms of slope-intercept form is y equals to mx plus b, and y is a dependent variable, x is the independent variable, m is the slope of the line, and b is the y-intercept when the values of x become zero. So, m here is the slope which is the rate of change and x is an independent variable so we can increase or decrease or we can simply control and manipulate the values of x in order to see its effect on y on the dependent variable so uh, this is all about the standard forms of linear equations definition of linear equation and characteristics of linear equations. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and click on the best simple in order to get new more videos. Thank you.